Hello, I'm here today to talk about what's going to happen on April 1st, 2022, when the National Archives releases the manuscripts form, forms from the 1950 census. Uh, what we'll see on April 1st, 2022, are the handwritten sheets um, that are a portfolio size filled out by 144,000 enumerators, the field staff for the 1950 census, uh, as they fanned out across the country on April 1st, 1950. When they were done, they had visited about 46 million houses and homes uh, across the country, group quarters, special places, and had counted and reported information on some 150 million people. The enumerators had maps, supplies, as they call them, and instructions, almost all of it on paper, They had been hired and trained in the previous month or so. Um, they were to go house to house uh, to collect the information from their assigned local area, which was called an enumeration district. It was a very temporary job. It was basically all over for the enumerators and the field staff by September of 1950. By then, the paper portfolios had been checked, edited, bound, and shipped from a local census field office around the country to either a processing office in Philadelphia or the main census office in Suitland, Maryland. The portfolios were delivered to the key punchers uh, who transformed the in information on each person onto a paper punch card, one for each person in, a, in the country, so about 150 million of them. The process started in August 1950, It took till July of 1951 to punch them all. The population form in the portfolios that the enumerators had um, used had space for um, about 30 people to be listed. The forms were big, 19 inches by 22 inches. From the perspective of the Census Bureau, the people who were going to compile and tabulate and publish the information, the handwritten responses for, um, on the main schedules, the main census forms, were simply designed for the field work. Tabulation work and publication took place once the information on the handwritten forms was transferred to the punch cards. So after the punching was done, All those paper forms were microfilmed and put away for reference. The Bureau and the archives uh, preserved those microfilms, but they destroyed the paper versions in, in the 1960s. So what we're going to get on April 1st is the microfilm of those paper copies that was made in the early 1950s. And now it will be up to the genealogists, the historians, and the public to explore once again the handwritten reports of those 144,000 enumerators with the names, with the addresses, and we will see the very ordinary record of what happened when the census taker came calling in the spring of 1950. Thank you.